Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Today we're talking about Knob Creek Rye, small batch rye, baby. This is our first rye we've ever talked about. I haven't had a rye in a long time. I like rye. Rye's are good. Yep. We're also going to talk about how you might be able to survive the zombie apocalypse. We're giving out survival tips. Tips, baby. Tips. Bring it. Let's test it. Test it. Do you think if the zombie apocalypse came and we were trading for ammo, would this oh, get us some ammo? that'll get us some ammo. I think we could get a thousand rounds as long as somebody had for a, a bottle? surplus. Easy. Nah. A thousand rounds. Maybe it rounds. might take you a case. Maybe a case of rye whiskey for a thousand oh, rounds. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no. For a case, you're part of the team. They're mm. bringing you on, baby. This stuff Let's is see. harder to find than ammo. Ammo is going to be fairly plentiful. This will be liquid gold, baby. <laughs> liquid gold. All right, number one I'm gonna tell you. Let's hear it. Is what's, your, what's your first tip? Multiple guns, same caliber. Mm, that's a good tip. You're right on there. board with that one, baby. Yes. Because here's the deal, in the movies, you always got a guy, he's got like a wheel gun, and which is a 38 caliber, blah, blah, blah. Then he's got some kind of semi-automatic, die-hard, nine millimeter Beretta. And then he's got a shotgun, and then he's got some other rifle. And I'm like, come on, man. You ain't surviving with all that. You know how much ammo you got to lug? Well, I think you need to have, you need to be well-rounded. You probably you probably need like an AR, like a, you're going to have assault a 223, rifle. some sort of an assault rifle. Sure. Probably a 12 He's going to go shotgun. technical. He's your more technical gun. And guy. then whatever handgun you keep, though, let's try to keep it. Let's keep, if you want a 9 millimeter, mm -hmm. keep 9 mm millimeter. If you want a 45. Here's what I'm telling you. They do make, now this might be so, hard to find, but if it's the apocalypse or gone and you've got free reign, you can get a nine millimeter handgun and you can actually get a nine millimeter like submachine gun and sometimes even yeah, a long rifle. I would but, be as much in the same caliber as I could. I am with you though. I'd want a high powered rifle. I would say you need the three. All right, give me one of yours. So that's, that's, as much that's as you can, same caliber. But I'm I mean, also going to stock. If I come sure. across some oh, 40 caliber ammo, yeah. I'm taking Trade. it. Trade. Even if I don't have a Yeah, 40. brick of 22s. 357. First of all, that's good, that's good hunting. You can get a lot of so, rabbit eating going on for with a 22. All right, give me one of yours. Tip number two, don't split up. Oh, yeah, who's splitting up? You take the basement, I'll take the upstairs. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> no, how about we do this Just slowly? Just do it together. Yeah, there ain't no rush here, baby. Yeah. All right, if we're going in to loot Bleak. this house that might have zombies in it, let's stick together. I've watched a lot of movies oh. and it never works out. Oh, I'd go in with, if there are four of us, we're not splitting up. First of all, you're liable to shoot one of your own people. Some That's guy true. comes around the corner to her, look what I found! I'm like, oh! Can I, can I, can I, can I? Like, what are you doing? I found some bourbon, some rye. Like, you don't jump around the corner, it's a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I just shot you. At least I didn't hit the bottle. <laughs> What's next? All right, I'm gonna go with this. Um, it's kind of a two-parter. First of all, I'm gonna have a go-anywhere car or truck. I mean, I'm gonna focus on probably a truck couple gas tanks on it and all kinds of like multiple different yeah. gas siphoning devices. Now is this going to be like a, a 1967 Dodge, uh, you know, that's jacked up and has a homemade 454 big block <laughs> cop engine in it? Well, I couldn't do any of those things, but if I found one abandoned, my only fear would be how much gas guzzling is that thing doing? And is there enough gas around? See, I'm going to the car lot and I'm getting a new one. I ain't even driving something from 1967. Yeah. Why even risk it? If there's a it's bunch of cars down. out there, yeah. If there's a bunch of cars, but you <clears throat> could maybe fix the carburetor on an old one, where it's like fuel injection problem, you're not getting any repair help You still anywhere. get another new one. If there's enough cars around, which that seems to always be because most people have been turned into zombies, yeah, I'm just getting new ones. I might even like have a cache of cars. Like, hey, go down by the old barn and you come around and be like, whoa, it's like a car dealership over here. That's right. And I got little pits all around it. That's my car cache. Yeah, and hopefully you're able to stay in the same space. Yo, that, that's one of my other topics. All right. One of my other topics is you ford up and you forage. Okay. What do you think of that? That's, that's that goes with the tip. car. Go to your tip. Next tip. Don't ever set your gun or weapon down and then continue to search or look on. No, first of all, you should have multiple guns on your person. Yes. And there's no way to ever set one If you're getting down. in the shower, take your gun with you. Yeah, you'd have like a little Glock or something that's, that the water isn't going to mess with. Yeah. Right. Or you'd have a machete or something. <laughs> a machete. 
Yeah. Even that machete, though, it's cool. I'm with you. Glock. Glock can Something. handle the water. Yeah. Don't set your, wep your weapon down and then no. go in the next room and be like, oh, look at the yeah. little oh, stuffed man. animals. Oh, they've got little glass there was sculptures. A, this was a little baby's room. I love glass sculptures it's so cute. as a child. It reminds me of Maybe how Maybe I should keep were. one of these glass sculptures. Ah! Zombie. Oh, zombie coming around a car. Where's my gun? I in the other room. <laughs> you can't get him with a glass unicorn. Maybe you could. All right. All right. So there's one of my, uh, on this same note with the vehicle, I am almost more worried about humans than I am zombies. Almost. Mm -hmm. Maybe more. Good point. On my truck, car, minivan, SUV, I'm going to liberally tag it with spray paint. I'm talking like a huge smiley face and maybe a funny slogan. Mm. Okay, I mean, just something where, you know, you're rolling through some other dude's territory and he's got a scoped rifle on you and he's getting ready to drop the hammer because he's gone a little bit over the edge and he doesn't want people in his area. And then he's like, ha ha, look at that. Have a nice day. Yeah, it says, hey, don't don't let the day greet you. You greet the day, right? And a big smiley face. Right. That guy, yeah, turn that frown upside down. That guy's got an upside down smiley face. Kind of like, Blam! Yeah, no, Blam! No, he's not shooting. No, you know. No, you shoot him. No, no, he's not. Take your stuff. No, he's not your buddy. That's <laughs> yeah. It's like that's like Jimmy. He'll like yell at you now every time you drive through. He'll be like, Hey, he'll be like Jimmy. Jimmy, we're coming through. We're not looting in your area. Matter of fact, we find any of this bourbon, we'll drop you a bottle. Woo! That's a rye whiskey. Rye, it's still okay. We find bourbon or rye or scotch. We're gonna give you a bottle, Jimmy. Then crazy Jimmy's on your side. You might even have like thugs following you back to your area. You come through Jimmy's area. Boom, boom. He's dropping them all because you had a funny slogan and an upside down smiley face on your truck. You just paint it up, polka dots, whatever you want. You want to let them know, you know what? Human. I'm human and I'm no threat to you. Matter of fact, funny. <laughs> if you are being actively pursued by zombies, do mm. not run to a basement oh. or the roof of a building. Unless you've got a pre-planned exit strategy. Yeah, now if this is now, if you say it's the daytime, you're searching, you move into an apartment building, a high rise, you right. can secure it. You can get yourself an avenue of escape, something like that from it, then by all means do it. But if you are being actively pursued, don't limit your options by running into a basement or yeah, the rooftop of a yeah, building. I wouldn't go into the basement of anything. Now I would carry a set of bolt cutters and there's always two stairwells. How so, do you gonna carry bolt cutters with your happy face? No, I still, I'd have like a little sheath thing that I would sling over my back. <laughs> Bolt cutters are huge, man. They get you, right. Right. you but come up on this like chain door, I'd be like, ship, bloom, pop yeah. it, and we're through. I'd be like, Bruno Camry popping a door, clap. That should be on my list is bolt cutters and a yeah. sheath. I'm not carrying a crossbow. And all the I other don't stuff care. we're going to have to carry. No, no, just no, a set of bolt. Not a good no, weapon. no, no. Bolt cutters are solid. Solid bolt cutters. All right. All right. Uh, I think that's what I got. Oh, no. no, I got one last one. I hate to say it, but we can't feed the world. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Bruno and I will not be able to feed the world. Now, we'll, we'll provide some tips. We may even like point you toward an area where Maybe. Jimmy doesn't live and say, hey, there's yeah. a barn over there. You might hang out in the barn. Tell you a funny joke. Yeah, we, might, like we might even all camp out and Tell hang together story. and drink some rye sometime. And then it's time to go. Yeah, but you're not hanging not with us hanging unless out. you bring something to the party. Ammo now, or Ammo or, or good company or a bunch of vehicles or uh, whatever. Yeah. But that Some doesn't coffee. mean we're going to be hot coffee. It'd be good as long as it's ground. <laughs> okay. But we might, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to point you, hey, there's an area about 10 miles down. You can make one of your own one of these. And uh, there's plenty of cars two, two towns over. But don't think you're coming in like, hey, we're taking your happy face uh, front upside down truck out for a ride. No, you're not. That mm -hmm. truck is symbolizing me and Bruno. That's right. And uh, you better have something for Jimmy if you go down through his area. All right, so there you go. We good on that? Yeah. I think those are all good. Uh, that, that's a stout. You're going to need bolt cutters just to get into that. that yeah, lid. Like packaging tape. Yeah, it's packaging that. tape. Genius. It's done. That's just simple tape put over there. All right. Oh, oh, look at that. Don't trash the fort, baby. What are you doing? Just chucking stuff. He's a chucker. All right. So bolt cutters, you didn't see that coming. Nor did you see humor being a would, positive deal. No, humor is always positive. Yeah, I know. Who's going to snipe out but some guy that's just there to I would make hate to try better. to make a list of things you have to carry in case you need it because you, would, you couldn't do it. 
No, no, I think you could come. I mean, most of them would be in your vehicle, but your vehicle is the go-to. I'm not going, I'm not straying far from the car. Matter of fact, I'd like to have a crew of about four. Nobody, one guy doesn't leave the car. His sole job is to be with the car or her job. And if bad things or people are coming, one honk on the horn. Mm, that's it. One honk on the horn, we all rush back to the vehicle. And the vehicle's carrying everything. What do you got there? What's your odor? Well, um, I notice it's it's a oh, Knob sure. Creek, it's straight rye whiskey, small batch. Wow, that's... I don't know if they make a regular, just a plain rye whiskey that's not the small batch. This is 50%, mm. a little bit higher, which is what I'm getting. You poured a lot. I, sorry about that. <laughs> You're trying to get me liquor down. Uh, You're going to take my truck from my upside down. Oh, a man. lot of rye, I can get, I definitely get the, the dill. There's a dill mm. uh, seasoning or uh, uh, smell and taste as well. And I'm not getting that right now with this. Wow. Maybe slightly. Hmm. Did you go neat or you added water? No, no, I added water. It had a very strong alcohol nose. Mm -hmm. Now with the rye, I don't even know how you describe it. To me, it's almost got a pepper. Every rye I've ever had, and I haven't had one in a long time, but they got a sharp like pepper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the pepper right there. Whoa, Are you yep. straight? <clears throat> Did you go neat? Yeah. Yeah, you want to cut it down a little bit. That but is, yep. the ryes bring wow. that bring that unique rye flavor, a sweetness, and a to me a peppery, peppery note. And uh, yeah, a definite peppery note. Not as much of the dill, like a dill pickle. Yeah, dill I didn't seasoning. get any of that. I get um, a mapleish, a mapleish uh, sweet, maybe that, syrup. I got I more a sweet syrupy now. Smell a hint of cinnamon. Yeah, definitely adding the water brought out a little bit more of the sweet. Mm -hmm. I would agree, uh, probably the maple. It's um, a very, very pleasant flavor. Like I said, the best thing out of the rye is that, that strong pepper note uh, combined yeah. with the sweetness. There's the dill. You got dill? Yep. I'm not getting any dill. Mm-hmm. I hear you. I'm just I get a I get an overwhelming pepper with a sweetness neat, that rolls through. Neat. I definitely got like a cracked black black pepper mm -hmm. on the finish on the palate. Ooh, and it was strong. Uh, Dilutant it brought it down, and now I've got a little bit of that dill, which you'll get. You should right. get with the rise. I'm trying to explain the rye in some other way because I it, it hints to me about a different flavor that might carry it. But and to me, this is still explain. this is still different than a bourbon. Mm, mm -hmm. It's not that sweetness, that that taste. It's still a different branch, I guess you could say, of the whiskey tree. Yeah, I get uh, maybe it's a little bit of wood. I feel it's almost got like a um, almost like a raw wood, like when you when you're splitting wood, and you get a little bit of that maybe that pine wood that you're splitting and I get a, a strong overpowering natural smell of that of that raw pine sap is kind of what I get in the flavor that's kind of odd I think that's what it's bringing me I back to narrow it down to a pine sap but well, I grew up in the mountains and, and one of my summer jobs is splitting wood mm -hmm. and we would cut pine trees and then split them took you two mm -hmm. years to split that tree <laughs> Never thought you'd get it split. If we ever need something in the zombie apocalypse, I can split some. Carry an axe with you. I'm not well, and and a, a it'd be on bar. a sheath this way. <laughs> so well, I'd be like, you need a cutter? You need a bolt cutter? Right? I know we need an axe. Fire axe? I got Cut it in this way. How about a shovel? I'm not moving fast. Got the shovel? Yeah, too. I got a pickaxe. Pickaxe. Mm -hmm. Coffee maker, right here. Yep. Oh, grinder. <laughs> yep. I've got my own little hand grinder. Doesn't need battery power. Nothing. I like the Knob Creek Rye. I give that one. Uh, that's good. Yeah, this is pleasant good flavor. Good yeah, taste. This is a very pleasant, mm -hmm. uh, wonderful taste, and I think it would bargain well with Jimmy. Don't shoot the upside down man coming through with a slogan on his truck. <laughs> you now, just get a wave. Hey, do they mix this with stuff? Rye whiskey? Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, that was a big deal. I can't remember. A whiskey Advocate had a rye special where they were talking about actually bartenders had kind of left rye alone where it almost died out and then all of a sudden it became the hot thing for mixing 
and uh, anything that called for normal, normal bourbon or sometimes even, I think mostly a bourbon, they were putting rye in there to get that spice. And, uh, and it was really made a resurgence with a lot of the uh, trendy bartenders. It's kind of what sparked my interest as I read that Whiskey Advocate, great, great uh, magazine, by the way. And I thought, you know what? I haven't had any rye in a long time. Let's, let's go grab a bottle. So, Good. Uh, I like Scotch it. Test Dummies. Cilantro. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. For the soon-to-be zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Let's test Let's it. Test it. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>